to the red fox who crossed my path on the Avon Geneseo Road the other night while I drove back from Wheeler Hill. Six hour late harvest lunch with great poet friends Michael and Paulette and Steve and Susan Deercloud at Michael and Carolyn's house up on the ridge. Turn right at the windmill and watch out for Amish buggies with homemade vegetable soup and whole grain baguettes that weren't homemade because I brought them and dark beers that God made in the long ago forest time and elderberry wine that Susan's brother made and potent it was and noisy hens laying and a clucking and wouldn't you have liked to meet them, the poets that is, though the hens were quite sociable too. And Michael says the foxes leave his chickens alone, although there was that weasel one time with dark intent and cruel efficiency. And it's November 1st, the day of all souls. And Samhain, and the spirits of all who died are with us, and the fairy folk are abroad, and we're worried about the election of a lifetime, a few days off. Can it really free us of the fear, the fear, the years passing slow with Cheney's Halloween mask holding the buzzsaw to the Constitution and putting the Bill of Rights for the wood chipper? And we're all his chickens, and he has no wisdom such as you possess, Red Prince. But really, even a spaniel would have more sense than the ones who raid the nation's storehouse and the planet's treasury while covering themselves in glory and gore and gurry and the squeal of Fox News oinks and insult to all noble foxes everywhere. And though you do be tricky trickster, you'd never fall for the garbage they spout, but seek the poet, the company of poets who do lie, as Plato claimed, but only in the service of beauty, and beautiful was your sheen as you loped across the driveway one recent morning. How was I to know you here at night as I led poets back from Wheeler Hill? Thank <laughs> you.